Hey guys, Austin here, and today I'm going to be going over exactly how the new brush works in Minecraft 1.20 and what it can be used on and what its purposes are. If you guys have been enjoying, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and let's hop right into this. So the brush can be crafted with one feather, one copper, and one stick, and it can also lose durability and be crafted together like any other durability loss tool in Minecraft, It and it has one specific use, and that is mining very suspicious items like suspicious sand and suspicious suspicious gravel i guess you would be more accurate to say it's like archaeology so you're dusting the blocks but using a brush on any block displaying a brush animation slowly down the player can create breaking particles but not actually damage the block when continuously brushing a suspicious block a random item slowly emerges from it until it drops out the block turns into a regular sand or gravel block also depe depleting the one durability point on the brush it takes 96 game ticks or 4.8 seconds for the brush to break a single suspicious block so we're going to show that off really quickly and then we'll go over exactly where you can find these suspicious blocks but i'll use three gravel and three sand and let's see what we can get I also am not sure if this works well in creative or if I have to be in survival for it. So I'll test it once. Yeah, I think I have to be in survival. So let me go in survival. Try it out. So it's supposed to always give you an item. But it seems like right now it is very rare that the items do actually plop out. But this is what you do. Just hold right click and you'll be brushing the blocks. And you're supposed to be able to get an item from it. But it seems like I said it is extremely rare to get these. Or you have to actually go and find these in the world to get the actual items. But this is what the brush is used for. It has no other function at the moment. But where you actually can find these suspicious gravel and suspicious sand is a very specific location. So the suspicious sand will generate in desert pyramids, desert wells, and ocean ruins. Whereas suspicious gravel will generate in the, in the trial ruins, which is the new location added in 1.20 as well as the ocean ruins as well cold ocean ruins specifically but if i enter this desert pyramid you will see that most of it is sandstone but if i come over to this left side here there actually is a few patches of sand and right there is actually the suspicious block in question as you can see I'm mining it and a diamond is popping out. So that pretty much guarantees it there that you have to be in the actual structures. You can't game mode in the stuff and all the other sand in the area is normal. So it's pretty rare to actually find these. I actually did want to break down here and see if there is any down below. I don't think so. And even in the chest itself, I think it's just normal sand. You can't actually find the suspicious sand outside of that so uh approach your desert pyramid with caution don't blow it up just yet sort of look around it for any suspicious sand and once you do find it you can excavate it as you will and like i said for the gravel it's going to be spawning in the oceans as well unfortunately i wasn't able to get a generation with any more suspicious sand than just one but i can't actually use the sand in creative it seems like if i put the sand down like here and try using it it seems like it just doesn't work. Yeah, as you can see, you can't actually creative mode use the item. It has to be naturally generated. So it seems like it does have the loot tail preset and you cannot creative mode in this stuff. But all in all, that is how you were using the brush in the new Minecraft update. If you guys want to see the full release version review, it'll be linked to the card top right hand corner. And if you guys want to see any other short guides on this on how the new items and tools and functions are in 1.20, let me know in the comments down below. And that's going to do it here. Let me know in the, also in the comments if you guys got any unique and cool items from brushing. You can get the new uh, pottery items. You can also get some rare items like the diamond I found, etc. So let me know in the comments down below. And if this guy was helpful, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you all next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.